All right, let's look at how to install CockroachDB on Windows. We're gonna download it, add it to our path, and then run it. We'll check that we did things right by going to our admin UI. Here's the landing page of our documentation. We want to install CockroachDB, so let's click on that. I'm using a beta version, so your version will be different, but that shouldn't make much of a difference. First up are the instructions for downloading the executable directly. We'll be doing that since it's simple and avoids external dependencies. Before we do though, let's find out what the other options are. We could orchestrate a cluster with Kubernetes, which is a popular choice for many of our customers, but outside the scope of this lesson. Similarly, we could but won't use Docker for a containerized deployment. Having seen the other options, let's download that executable. Note the warning here. The Windows build is experimental and shouldn't be used for production, though it'll be great for this getting started course. We'll click here to download the zip. I'm gonna save it so that it'll be in my downloads directory and we'll double click to see what's inside. We're now inside of the zip file and this is the directory with the executable in it. We want it extracted and we wanna put it somewhere and add it to our path. We can use Control N to open a new file explorer window. I'm gonna to go to my C drive. Mine is named Bootcamp, but yours may not be. It won't make a difference. See those program files directories? We'll use the one without the x86. We also wanna put it in our path. We'll click on program files, then the directory, then copy the address as text. We'll need that in a moment. Next, let's put that in our path. We'll click on our search box and type ENV. This will call up environment variables, from here, we click on the environment variables button, path, edit, new, paste. We'll okay our way out, and now we're good. Windows will go looking there for our executable from PowerShell, which is how we'll run it. We'll go to the Windows search bar here and start to type in PowerShell. Okay, here's where we wanna be careful. Notice that there are four versions of PowerShell. We want the one that's just Windows PowerShell, no x86, no ISE. It may or may not be the top result for you. The reason why we don't want those others is that the x86 files use an older architecture and the PowerShell ISE is designed for creating scripts, but it runs into trouble when we try to run an interactive shell in it. If we try, it'll hang. So we choose Windows PowerShell, okay, we're in. We can verify that we set this up correctly by running Cockroach from here. Running it without any arguments shows some available commands. There they are. By the way, we don't actually need that .exe. It's redundant and we can drop it, which will make the command look a bit more like it does in Linux. See, same result. Okay, enough playing around. Let's spin up a single node cluster. We'll be using start single node. I like to run local nodes like this one in downloads, so I remember to delete their data files from time to time, but you can decide where you want yours. This command starts a single node cluster. It's a quick way to spin up a lightweight version of CockroachDB locally, but not for production. This minus minus insecure is a flag that specifies a connection parameter. In this case, I'm saying I want it to start the single node cluster in an insecure state, no encryption or authentication, which is fine for a local deployment on my laptop, but remember, this is because the node will not be used for production. The other flags make additional settings explicit, with this listen address flag specifying that the node should listen for connections on localhost port 26257, and the HTTP address flag specifying where the admin UI can be found. Let's see what happens. This is what it looks like when a node starts up. We can ignore this error message about time zones that won't affect us in this course. Now we're going to check what we've done on the admin UI on localhost colon 8080. Let's copy this URL here with control C, go to my browser and paste it. This is our admin UI. It tells us a lot about the cluster. There are links all over the place hinting at interesting information we might find if we click around. Feel free. For now though, we can already see the node in the live nodes section. This dot to the left of localhost is green, which means that our node is running and healthy. Great. Let's clean up what we've done. We'll go back to PowerShell and kill the node with a control C. And if we look at our directory, we can see the zip file we downloaded and this cockroach data directory, which the node created to store its data and logs. We'll delete that now to tidy up. All right, what have we done? Well, we've installed CockroachDB, spun up a single node cluster, and used the admin UI to verify that everything was working. A production cluster is still a long ways off, but we've already started our journey.